So let's find the oxidation numbers for the phosphorus here in P4O10. You may have heard of P2O5, except P2O5 really doesn't exist. We always find it as P4O10. So this is the structure of P4O10. We want to find the oxidation number on the phosphorus. What we can do, we know that oxygen, that's always going to have a negative 2 oxidation number. And the phosphorus, we don't know what that is. We'll call that X. So you might be able to see that we have 10 times negative 2. That's negative 20. So we'd have to have 4 times 5 to give us a 20. So all the charge adds up to 0. You could also say 4X minus 10 times 2. So minus that 20 equals 0. And then 4X equals, we'll add 20 to each side. And then divide each side by 4. X would equal 5, a positive 5. So the oxidation number on each one of these phosphorus atoms here, that's going to be plus 5. And if you look at the structure, all of the phosphorus atoms here, they're bonded to the same four oxygen atoms. So this is an average oxidation number we found here. But in this case, all of these, since they're the same, the average works. It's plus 5. That's it. This is Dr. B looking at the oxidation numbers for P2O5, which really doesn't exist. It's P4O10. Thanks for watching.